Hello and welcome to the HBM Test and Measurement Frequently Asked Questions video series. My name is Jason Osborne, I'm an application engineer. Um, today we're going to go over uh, changing the output frequency on a HBM uh, torque transducers. So in this video I'm going to be using the T40B using the TIM40 um, and then I'm going to do the same uh, with again with the T12 and the T12 assistant. First we're going to use a T40B uh, using our TIM40 option. Uh, with this one I have a 174-6 cable coming from uh, port 4 of the T40B going into the X3 port on the TIM40. This is a pass-through power uh, as well as uh, data going in. So this is a static IP. The TIM40 uses a static IP address. So make sure that your computer is hooked up um, correctly for the network configurations. Once you get into the software, um, the initial password is 0123. Uh, from there, uh, yeah, we're going to go into um, the parameterized sensor tab under the change center frequency option. Um, this is going to give you uh, what the current mode is and also uh, the different options that are available um, for your torque transducer depending on what you had purchased. So select what you were, uh, what type you are looking for and then hit the, the save tab. Um, next, you're going to change the actual interface of the module. This is your scaling of your uh, unit itself. Under the parameterized interface module, select on frequency output. Um, and this needs to match uh, what you just selected on your uh, item. So change the, uh, the frequency that you had picked. Next, you want to set the, the max range of your actual torque transducer. So 0.1 should be zero, um, and then 0.2 of the torque value is the max of your uh, rotor that you have that you're using. Um, note, this will uh, default back to 50 Newton meters. Um, if these are not correct, um, you're gonna get an error message, um, and I'll show you that here in a second. So for the next step, um, make sure that the center frequency uh, is adjusted to match um, the mode that you had selected uh, earlier. Hit accept. Now I'm going to go back to the um, measure tab just to, to show you where that error message is going to uh, pop up if not. So if you have um, something wrong um, with your range or your carrier frequency, you're going to get a note here. Um, in this example, uh, the status is OK, so I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, but if not, um, you're going to get an error message saying there, saying unknown uh, condition. In the unknown condition, you just go back uh, and change and verify and make sure everything is set exactly the way that you have. Uh, next thing you're going to do is save to the transducer. So on your main tab, go to save and load parameters. The TIM40 gives you uh, four different parameter sets uh, that you could save to the actual transducer itself. So as you go through the different configurations, you can set up four different ones. Uh, you can save it right to the computer or right to the actual transducer itself. So select what value, uh, in this example, I'm gonna use parameter set one, and then I will save that. Next step um, is you have to do a power cycle. Um, the power cycle will save your changes that you've made here in the TIM40 and actually transmit it to the actual transducer itself. So to do that, we're gonna completely remove power from the transducer, um, that's by uh, you could either pull out, if you're using the uh, TIM options, you could disconnect the TIM40, or you could just uh, unplug it from you know whichever port, port one or port three that you're doing. Wait uh, three to five seconds and then reapply power. This will save it to the EEPROM, and then next time your transducer is powered up, it's going to be changed to that frequency. So next we're going to uh, do the same thing using the T12 and the T12 assistant. 
With that, um, I have a T12 1000 newton meter rotor um, using inner, um, the plug on port 4. Um, that's going into our CAN uh, TIM setup USB uh, connection with the USB to, to CAN dongle. I also have a uh, terminating resistor. We always suggest you use a terminating resistor uh, anytime you use CAN. That'll uh, reduce some of your, your noise. Um, for those of you who have not used the assistant, the assistant can be found on our website. Um, and once you connect into the uh, T12 uh, torque transducer, you're going to go uh, to CAN mode, and then you're going to select the scan option. Um, and that's going to uh, connect to that actual transducer itself. The password, the uh, default password is 1234. I'm going to go into uh, the password mode and just show you a quick video on this. When you hit OK, once you type in the password and hit OK, you're going to get a please wait. Um, but sometimes that doesn't actually um, go into the, the transducer. You're looking for these. So hit OK again. You're looking for these three pages that are kind of flipping back and forth. That's actually getting into the transducer. So next, we're going to go into parameterized transducer and then frequency output. That's going to, again, pop up with your, your box of uh, what values to have. That'll be uh, in here. And then also make sure you change the um, first point frequency and the second point frequency here to match your selection on your mode. In the mode dropdown, um, there's a 10 plus or minus 5 or the 60 uh, plus or minus 30. Set, make sure that you set uh, your parameters set. On this one, we're going to save to transducer, same as what we did with the, um, the T40B. So save load parameters. Uh, under that, there is a folder that's save to transducer. Again, this is uh, different options where you can set your um, parameter types. So pick your parameter type and hit save. Here's your options for your parameters. Once you get done with that, hit OK. Again, just like the T40, you want to save this to the EEPROM so it comes up each time. Uh, remove power from your transducer. Wait three to five seconds and then reapply power. Well, that's going to start the EEPROM, and your center frequency has been changed. Thank you for watching our videos. Look for additional videos, uh, strain gauges, torque, uh, a lot of our load cells um, in our website. Or if you have any additional questions, please call 1-800-578-4260 or contact us at support at usa.hbm.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.